Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. What if everything we thought we knew about the universe's beginnings was wrong? For decades, scientists have confidently told us that the universe began roughly 14 billion years ago with the Big Bang and has been expanding and evolving ever since. But groundbreaking discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging that timeline in ways we never expected. Either the universe is much older than we thought, or our entire understanding of its origins is due for a serious revision. Since Webb began its scientific mission, it has been nothing short of revolutionary. Astronomers anticipated that it would help us see further into the past than ever before, but few expected it to shake the very foundations of cosmology. From detecting some of the most distant and ancient stars to uncovering entire galaxies at the outermost edges of the observable universe, Webb has already rewritten parts of our cosmic history. It has captured light from galaxies that existed just 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, an incredible achievement. But here's where things get really puzzling. There's a fundamental limit to how far back we should be able to see. Based on our best cosmological models, Webb shouldn't be able to observe anything beyond a period known as the Dark Ages. This was a time in the early universe before the first stars and galaxies had formed, when space was filled with a dense, opaque fog of hydrogen gas. Light from this era couldn't travel freely, meaning there should be nothing visible beyond it. The oldest signal we should be able to detect is the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang itself. Yet, Webb's latest findings might completely upend our understanding of cosmic history. Recent observations suggest that some of the galaxies detected by Webb appear to be older than the estimated age of the universe itself. If this is confirmed, it would shake the very foundation of modern astronomy and force us to reconsider everything we thought we knew. Are our calculations off? Is the universe actually older than we believed? Or is there a deeper, more fundamental aspect of the cosmos that we have yet to comprehend? While these newly discovered galaxies still need to undergo rigorous peer review, the Webb Telescope's observations are already rewriting the narrative of the early universe. Until recently, the most distant known galaxy was GNZ 11, a discovery made by the Hubble Space Telescope. This galaxy, which dates back to approximately 400 million years after the Big Bang, was thought to be one of the universe's earliest formations. However, Webb has now shattered this record, identifying four even older galaxies, including GSC-13, which currently holds the title of the farthest and potentially oldest galaxy ever observed. Using its powerful infrared instruments, Webb captured light from Jade's GSC-13 as it appeared just 325 million years after the Big Bang. But due to the ongoing expansion of the universe, this ancient galaxy is now estimated to be an astonishing 33 billion light years away from Earth. As remarkable as that distance is, what truly left scientists in awe was the unexpected nature of these galaxies. According to current cosmological models, early galaxies should be small, disorganized, and relatively simple structures, mere building blocks of the vast star systems we see today. However, Webb's observations tell a different story. Some of these galaxies appear far more massive, structured, and luminous than they should be at such an early stage in the universe's history. Webb's data revealed a sudden emergence of early galaxies that had never been seen before, including one with a redshift of 17, something that, according to current models, should be impossible. However, follow-up spectroscopy later showed that this galaxy wasn't actually as far away as it first appeared. Instead, it had a redshift of 5, meaning a dense dust cloud between the galaxy and Webb had created an illusion, making it seem much farther away. Peter Van Dockham, an astronomer from Yale University who was not involved in the research, pointed out that Webb may have spotted galaxies even closer to the Big Bang than we ever imagined. If some of these candidates are confirmed, they could push the timeline back to when the universe was less than 200 million years old. This flood of early galaxies presents a major challenge to our current cosmological model, forcing astronomers to reconsider how quickly galaxies formed after the universe was born. The surprises keep coming. While the discovery of high redshift galaxies has already shaken up our understanding of the cosmos, Webb has now revealed something even more astonishing about the early universe. 
According to the standard cosmological model, the first galaxies should have been small, simple, and relatively unstructured. But Webb's latest findings tell a different story. Some of these ancient galaxies are not only massive, but also highly organized, similar in complexity to our own Milky Way. This directly contradicts what scientists expected about how stars and galaxies formed in the universe's early days. Dr. John C. Mather, a Nobel laureate and senior project scientist for Webb, expressed his amazement, saying, We're looking further back in time than ever before, and it's incredibly exciting. He emphasized that while the concept of an expanding universe remains solid, our understanding of how stars and galaxies form might need serious revision. These early galaxies appeared larger, brighter, and hotter than anticipated, leading some to wonder if our entire view of cosmic history needs a rethink. Dr. Mather, however, believes that the real issue may not be with the expansion of the universe itself, but rather with our understanding of how stars and galaxies grow over time. If our current theories were correct, galaxies in the early universe should be much smaller and less developed. Yet, one of Webb's most astonishing discoveries challenges this assumption, a galaxy called Sears 2112. This remarkable galaxy formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, yet it already rivals the Milky Way in size. Its existence suggests that galaxies may have evolved far more rapidly than previously thought, possibly within a fraction of the time scientists had estimated. The discovery of such a massive and mature-looking galaxy so early in cosmic history raises new questions about the timeline of galaxy formation and whether our models need to be drastically revised. This discovery challenges the long-held belief that galaxies like ours took billions of years to develop. Until now, astronomers thought barred spiral galaxies, such as the Milky Way, only emerged when the universe was much older. Even Hubble's observations suggested that barred galaxies were rare in the early cosmos. Yet Webb has now provided evidence that turns these assumptions upside down. The fact that Sears 2112 existed 11.7 billion years ago when the universe was just 15% of its current age suggests that galaxies like the Milky Way may have formed much earlier than we ever imagined. Galaxies usually evolve gradually over billions of years through mergers, collisions, and star formation, shaping their structure over time. But Sears 2112's existence hints that this process might have taken place in under a billion years, far faster than previously believed. So, what does this mean for our understanding of the cosmos? Are our models of galaxy formation incomplete, or do we need to rethink the very origins of the universe? And that's it. Thanks for exploring the mysteries of the cosmos with us. The James Webb Space Telescope is rewriting what we thought we knew about the universe, from galaxies older than we expected to cosmic structures forming faster than our models predicted. Are we missing a piece of the puzzle, or do we need a whole new way to see the universe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-bending discoveries.